encantará And This Is Made In Mexico Today we're going to talk about the Altar de Muertos, a tradition that has been followed because of the Day of Death. The Day of Death is celebrated each year on November the 2nd. Mexico is one of the few cultures that has the tradition of celebrating our ancestors. Even the UNESCO gave the recognition of intangible cultural heritage to this tradition. Today we will be focusing on the Altar de Muertos, or as it can also be called, the Death's Altar. This ceremony has been evolving since pre-Hispanic times to become a cultural syncretism. Its origin had four specific purposes. The first one was remembering the dead. The second one was to guide them to a place that corresponds to them according to how they live and how they died. The third one is to appreciate the merits that they had when they were alive. The fourth one, and the most important, was to invoke the souls in order for their guidance in sacred rituals as baptism, death or birth. The death altar can be built as you wish. From two, three, seven, up to nine levels, you can build an altar. If you choose an altar that has only two levels, it will mean like heaven and earth. If you choose an altar of three levels, it will be like heaven, earth and then the underworld. From 7 to 9 levels is the path that the dead has to cross in the afterlife. There are certain things that you need to place in the altar in order for it to be a dead altar. You can put shred paper. This shred paper represents wind. One of the four elements of the physical world. In top of the shred paper you put the remains of the deceased that are represented by the sugar or chocolate skulls. These skulls in the forehead have a label. In this label you put the name of the person that you are honoring in the altar of the dead. The earth is represented by the marigold flowers, together with the candle's fire, that indicates the path that the deceased has to follow. Water is used to satisfy the thirst of the deceased in their journey to the afterlife. Fruits and seeds represent soil. The salt and the incense are used to keep clean the surroundings and keep off all those bad spirits. The marigold flowers are arranged to guide the spirit with them you build a Greek cross, which represents the union of the four paths that lead to the underworld. In the Altar de Muertos, you include all the food and the drinks that your loved one enjoyed when he was alive. For example, if you enjoy enchiladas, you put some enchiladas. If you enjoy some tacos, you put some tacos. If you enjoy pan de muerto, you put a pan de muerto in there. You put the image of your beloved one at the top of the altar and arrange each step according to the altar that you choose. Altars are a beautiful Mexican tradition. I hope that you enjoy this video, guys. Like it, subscribe down below, share it, post it wherever you want. And if you want to continue knowing more about this amazing, beautiful country, my beautiful Mexico, hope to see you next time. Adios!